first. The alarm does go off and, and now my shoelace has come undone. Well, they do say more haste, less speed. Henry, I'm already late as it is. Somebody's got to get the papers out on time. Well, I think you're being a bit alarmist. I can hardly recall a day Rita hasn't opened up on time. Take a look for yourself. Do you see any lights? And where was she all day yesterday when we went round to the flat? Well, it has been known for people to go out on a Sunday. Yes, well, she did go out. She obviously didn't come back, did she? Otherwise, why would the paper kids be standing outside? <sighs> you don't know how lucky you are. I don't feel very lucky. You're single. Free as a bird. You could cop off with any young filly you fancy. I fancy fizz. Oh, well, each to their own, I suppose. I don't know why you're giving me all this single rubbish anyway. You've never been happier since you started seeing Scylla. True. But I'm not wanting to kick a mate while he's down. I was just trying to show a bit of solidarity. I really miss her, Les. OK. Then forget everything I've said and go out and get her then. I've tried. She, she don't want to know. You and Fizz could be as happy as me and Scylla. I know you could. If we could get over this lot, maybe. You will. But first stop's a good breakfast. So think positive and get your laughing gear on that, son. Go on, lad. Uh, hang on. Kevin's thinking of taking my dad back on. Oh, yeah, that's what he said. What, is he mad? <laughs> well, yeah, maybe. But I'm sooner he took his frustration out on some old exhaust system than you and me. Thanks. Oh, Mark. Oh, you okay? <gasps> well, I must say. Everything looks pretty normal. Uh, what did you expect? Has she been down? No, she hasn't. Oh, well, she might be ill. Look, if you're so worried about Rita, why don't you go and check on her yourself? Because this is the first break I've had all morning and I'm going to make myself a well-deserved cup of tea. Not till my paper's sorted. I beg your pardon? I pay to have my paper delivered. It's not happened. Look, I sent your paper out at half past seven this morning with the girl. And I'm still waiting. Well, I'm sorry if there's been some sort of mix-up. This but... is no mix-up, pal. This is deliberate. This is revenge, this is. Actually, it's the result of your unpleasant lady friend's vendetta against my employer. Rita's not here because of what that woman and that vile child have done to her, and I'm trying to manage single-handed. Listen, you. Rita Sullivan deserves everything she gets. If she wasn't so fond at slinging punches at defenceless little kids, she wouldn't be in any trouble. Look, just take your paper and go. Are you threatening me? Yeah, I, really, Mr Battersby, isn't there enough trouble without looking for any more? Just please, go. Don't worry. I'm going. But if my paper ain't delivered on time tomorrow, I'm taking my custom elsewhere, all right? Get your name off the list right now, appalling little man. I don't think you should have said what you did about Rita. Why not? It's true. Yes, but it gives them a certain satisfaction to know that their efforts are causing her problems. Mm. Where are you going? To do what you should have done earlier. Check on Rita. You think I've blown it? Look, if it's advice you're after, you're asking the wrong man. You've got experience with women. Yeah, experience at cocking it up. Yeah, but do you reckon of any chance, after hearing all that I've said? I've blown it, haven't I? Well, you told her the truth. You can't do more than that. I wish I hadn't. Look, it's up to her now, isn't it? Yeah, get on with that. Hey, Tommy! Can't stop, Kev. I'm on my way to the job centre. Yeah, look, I might be able to save you the journey. Not unless you can offer me a job. You serious about staying sober? Yeah. And getting hold of that temper of yours? I'm gonna try. Well, good, because I've been thinking about giving you a job back, but I need convincing I'm not making a big mistake. Listen, Kev, I've learnt my lesson. I just want to get back to work, keep me head down, and get on my life, that's all. It's not all talk, that, is it, Tom? No, honest, I swear. Right, back in tomorrow, same time. Mind you, you're on probation. How long for? Until I'm happy, you mean what you say? Look, I won't let you down. Cheers, Kev. You won't regret this, honest. What were you doing? Waiting outside till the other boats pull back? Just give us a pint, will you, Fred? Well, I will when you give me a chance to get behind bar. So what's up? It's a bit early for the likes of you to come quaffing, isn't it? We're well, looking for somewhere quiet to sit and think, if you must know. Well, I'm you'll think a lot clearer if your brain's not befuddled with ale. Take no notice of him, Kirk, lad. Alcohol's always stimulated my imagination. Is that so? Aye, it is. So pull me one and all. He's paying. I saw you waiting outside till he opened. Still mooning after fizz, are you? She means everything to me, Les. Oh, you give up too easy, you do. You were made for each other, you and her. Try telling her that. What's well, no good coming from me? 
You're the only one that can pull this off. What you need... What you need is some big... romantic gesture. Like what, for instance? Mm, too well to tell yet. Buys a few more pints, get the old imagination going, so much bound to come. Yeah, I'm two sausage rolls and a can't be faster. Ah, come off the diet then? No, just fancy some fresh air, they're not for me. Oh, well, that's shaping enough. <laughs> and I ate Mondays as well. Oh, I like them. I love my work. <laughs> oh, that's because we treat her so well. Yeah, he's a great employer. <laughs> what more can a working girl want, say? Eh, yeah. see you later. Hang on a sec, I'll walk back with you. See you later. See you. Yes, love, what can I do for you? That's up. No. Come on, what is it? Oh, I've just realised who it is. It's Ashley, isn't it? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. It's Ashley you fancy, isn't it? No. Oh, yeah. So why have you gone all red then, eh? I'll put in, I'll put in a couple of extra chops here for you, with that. Hi, Fizz. Don't talk to me. Oh, come on. I was looking all over for you yesterday. Yeah, well, I went into town to see some mates. Just wanted to know if you were still mad with me. I don't want to talk about this in public. Oh, don't mind me. I'm the soul of discretion. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> You've not been avoiding me, have you, after what I said? Well, I might have been. I wasn't quite sure how I felt. I needed time to think. And? Well, it wasn't like you to do that to your mate, to Kirk. I know. But I don't regret it, not if it means getting you back. Well, you must mean it, then. I do. Look, this is no good. When can we talk properly? Later, maybe. Rovers after work. No, you best come to the flat. Maria and Candice will be out. No problem. Oh, all right. 160. You should be paying me for a floor show. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Oh, no. Well, you took your time. I assume she was in. Well, actually, she wasn't. I tried the bell and knocking, but I couldn't get any reply, so I went round to see if she was at Sally's. And she wasn't? No. Nope. Look, I hope you didn't say anything untoward while you were over there. Well, of course I didn't. I'm not stupid. Yeah, well, I, I, I bet she turns up this afternoon dressed to the nines as if nothing had happened. Well, if she does, just call me. Right. Oh, really? That girl. Norris? I'm sorry I'm late. I've only just woke up. When I saw the time, I came... Oh, oh. Rita, Rita, love. You? Oh, Rita, please. I, I, I was just worried seeing you like that. You shut the shop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, it's all right. We won't be disturbed. I don't want anybody seeing me in this state. They won't. They won't. I promise you. <laughs> the trouble is, I couldn't get to sleep last night. All this business is preying on my mind. So I took some sleeping tablets. When I woke up, I realised what the time was. Oh, oh it's all right, Rita. Really, really it is. No, a bit, a bit, apart from failing to deliver Les Pattersby's morning rag, everything ran really smoothly. I'm very grateful. Thank you. You're welcome, love. You're welcome. No, I, I, are you sure you don't want me to go for a doctor? No. Really. I'm happy to sit here and recover. I got a bit flustered when I woke up and I realised I'd overslept. So I, I just grabbed the first thing to hand. I came down as quickly as I could. Look, I, 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 I can understand you being upset, Rita, but I'm a bit worried about you taking sleeping pills. It was the only way I could get any peace. Look, why, why, why don't you go back up to the flat, eh? You, you have a, a nice bath, sort yourself out. I can manage perfectly well down here. If you don't mind, I'd like to sit here for a bit. Right. All right, love, you take your time, eh? <laughs> <laughs> How long have I been asleep? Oh, a couple of hours. <laughs> hey, come and sit down, it's cartoons. Ooh, it takes me right back to Saturday morning matinees, does this. You're still drinking? Still looking for inspiration, son. <laughs> you serious? Yeah. Hey, 
And it's my own money. I had to go down the corner shop myself to buy these. I bought you enough pair in the Rovers to make you a genius. Oh, so you begrudge it me now, do you? I spend my day off trying to help a mate. And all he does is have a go at me. I'm just not sure it's working, that's all. Kirk! This hard graft is this. Do you know what damage it's doing to my brain? Have you come up with an answer, then? Hey, don't put pressure on me. I'll only go tense and now it'll come. Hey, come on. Sit down. Come on, that's a good lad. Have one of these and watch telly for a bit. <laughs> they always say the best ideas come when you relax. Get that down, you. <laughs> and they haven't been out at all? Not since I saw you on Saturday. So... When we were banging on the door and ringing the bell, worried out of our minds. I was in, ignoring you. I'm sorry, Norris. I didn't want to see anybody, neither you nor Emily. I didn't even want to eat. No wonder you felt faint. I just wanted to be a million miles away from all this. <laughs> I don't know what it's doing to me. Oh, I can see what it's doing to you. I can't take it anymore. All the years I worked behind that counter, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Rita, you made one daft mistake. But why, Norris? I never did anything like that before. I never had cause to. Now, look, you mustn't go blaming yourself for all this. It, it's that vile kid and his avaricious mother. I know what it is. I just don't want to fight them. I haven't the energy anymore. Yes, yes, you have. Now, come on. You go upstairs, <laughs> have that bath, get changed, and come down here and face the world together. I'll be with you. Oh, Emily. Oh, I don't want her to see me. I'm sure she'd understand. No, get rid of her. All right. All right. Whatever you say. All right, Emily. Hang on. Come in. Minute. What are you doing closing the shop? I'm sure that's not what Rita would want. Uh, it was just an extra precaution. I, I was out the back checking some stock. Uh, oh, I take it Rita's still not shown up? Well, she has, as a matter of fact, yes, and she's fine. Where's she been? Well, she was out all day yesterday and upstairs sleeping all morning. You now, seemingly, she took some uh, sleeping pills last night and, and they worked a bit too well. Oh. So we were worried about nothing, then? Uh, apparently, yes. Uh, oh, right. Well, I'll pop up and see Oh, I, w I wouldn't do that, Emily, because she said uh, uh, she said she was going to take a bath and, uh, well, you wouldn't want to disturb her, would you? Oh, no, no, of course not. I'll, I'll leave it till later. <laughs> uh, as long as we know she's all right. <sighs> Thank you. It's all right. Now, come on. You pop upstairs, have that bath, and then get down here and give me a hand. I'm sorry. I know you mean well, Norris, but I can't come back and work in here anymore. Rita, you've got to. You can't let those villains across the road get the better of you. I appreciate what you're trying to do, Norris, but when I said I was finished, I meant it. Well, by all means, keep the shop open if you want to. But just don't expect me to work in it ever again. Is the coast clear? Uh, yeah, both out. Great. You've had a shower and got changed. Got some food and all. Oh, fab. That's really nice. I yeah, love these. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, it was a bit of a rush to squeeze it all in, but I thought you might have been peckish sitting behind that machine all day. Oh, sweet. I'd offer you a drink, but we haven't got out. What? All taken care of. Oh, you're a star, do you know that? Mwah. Hey, can I get another one? Hey, don't get cocky. I've been thinking about what you said to Kirk. It wasn't very nice, was it, to lie to your best mate? I know, but I couldn't stand the thought of him having you and not me. Oh, yeah, well, that is understandable. <laughs> I don't just stand there. Come and give us a hand. Right. Hey, Ev, have you always been this bossy? Eh, uh, yeah, as far back as I can remember. Why'd it put you off? No. <laughs> Turns me on a little bit, actually. Oh. <laughs> One, open wide. Oh. I could get used to this. Well, just say the word, cos chips are cheap enough. They don't get pushy. Uh, no, I wasn't. Good, cos a girl with a choice needs time. Yeah. 
Must be hard having two people fancy at the same time, eh? Oh, I don't know. It's not that bad. It's quite nice, really. Right, let's um, eat, shall we, before it all gets cold? <laughs> yeah. So, do you fancy another? You bought me this. I'm celebrating, Anna. All right, so how does this fit in with a new silver Tommy was telling me about? I said, do you want another, not me? All right, thanks, but, uh, no thanks. Taking selling the girls for the pizza when I get home. Oh, ah, just eat time out, you two lads a pint. Not me, mate, I'm just going. You all right, Tommy? Uh, I'll have orange juice. Mm. Orange juice? Are you serious? I'll tell you what, make it a pint. Save the orange juice till later. <laughs> Two pints then, please, Dad. Two pints it is. Well, why are Ashley's leading that madman astray? I can't imagine. <laughs> I can't imagine Ashley leading anyone astray. It's too nice, isn't it? He's a grand lad. Heart of gold. Shame about Maxine, eh? Do you reckon he'll ever find anyone else? I sincerely hope so. He were born to share his life with someone, were our Ashley. And that little lad needs a mother and all. What, do you not think Claire's doing a good job, then? She's doing a grand job. Thinks the world of our Joshua. And he thinks there's nobody like her. But she's not his mother, though, is she? Yeah, maybe. What do you mean by that? Well, it might just be my imagination, Fred, but I think I've sensed a bit of a spark between Ashley and Claire. But they'll neither of them admit it to each other. Oh, it just seems such a waste, doesn't it? No, you can say that again. I say you can say that again. I've tried talking to him about it, but all I get's a flea in me here. Why don't you try again? Between the two of us, we might be able to have some better luck, eh? A pincer movement. Give them no room to manoeuvre. <laughs> Cracking idea. <laughs> yeah, OK, then. Well, can you just tell me why? No, I understand. Yeah, bye. Hey, all right. Mm. Who was that? The police. They want to see me down the station. Well, what about? Well, what do you think? The investigation? All right, all right. Well, when? Now, as soon as I can. Right. I'll come with you, then. Why me? Well, probably cos you accused your dad. Said he'd been tampering with the car. Yeah, well, you told them about the brakes. Why aren't they happy with that? I don't know. The sooner we get there, the sooner we find out. I just hope that something else hasn't come out of the woodwork. Come on. Penny King! What a pleasant surprise! What are you doing in our neck of the woods? I'm meeting Mike. Bit of business. Mm, well, you're very welcome. What can I get you to drink? Oh, white wine, if I may. Right, it'll be my pleasure and my treat. Oh, no, I couldn't, really. Yes, you could. I wouldn't hear any different. Well, that's very kind. How are you coping? Well, it was a bit difficult to start with, but I'm getting used to things now. <laughs> Must have been a huge shock losing your Ruby like that. It was. But life has to go on, hasn't it? <sighs> Lives for the living, they say. Yes, Ernie. Oh, she's really hitting the spot, Tyrone. Becoming a bit of an expert now it comes to pleasing women. Oh, yeah? No, I'm just lying. Just trying to build up my confidence. Oh, you don't have to do that with me. Don't I? No. You're a very generous bloke, Tyrone. In a lot of ways. Wasn't very generous to Kurt, was I? No. Are you sorry you lied to him now? No. Not if it means getting you back. Yeah, well, I won't worry so much about Kirk anyway. He can be just as selfish when he wants to be. I mean, he didn't give a damn about me, did he? When I was over at your place at Christmas. No. No, I don't suppose he did. In fact, you could say that he treated you a bit shabbily. Yeah, but he did come and try and make up for it later. Oh, oh yeah. Mind you, he's never been as good a friend to me as you have. Not lately, anyway. Yeah, you see, and I don't think you can have a proper relationship unless you're friends first. Yeah, and we have always been good friends. Oh, yeah, we have. In fact, I don't even know why I went chasing them others like Maz and Katie and Maria. Oh, what, you mean you should have aimed a bit lower? Set your sights on someone a bit grottier like me? No, no, I don't mean that. I mean, I wasn't friends with them like I am with you. And you're not grotty. You're fantastic. You've got a great personality and you're a really good laugh. I think we'd be great together as a pair or a couple. You think? Yeah, we'd be like... Like the Romeo and Juliet of Weatherfield. We're meant for each other. <laughs> well, that's what I think, anyway. Oh, no, thank you. That is one of the nicest speeches that anyone has ever made to me. Oh, will you stop pacing? It's driving me mad. I can't. Just sit down and watch the telly or I'll throw you out that window. 
I can't concentrate, Les. His face, she's going round and round him yet. Well, do something about it, then. Get over there and have it out with her. Tell her what you feel, only stop wearing the carpet out. Right. I will. You will? Yeah, you're right. It's time for action. It's time to go for it. It's time to win her back. Hey, hey, I, I told you I'd come up with a good idea. <laughs> Looks like he's abandoned you. <laughs> or forgotten. Not in this world. There's no man on earth to forget an appointment with a woman like you. Well, it looks like Mike's the exception to that rule, then. Oh, well, that and someone's cropped up at work last minute. Oh, he's had a better offer. I doubt that. I say I doubt that. Well, I'm not waiting for him. Tell him I was here and waiting if he comes in, will you? Oh, don't go. Have another drink with me. Oh, no, I couldn't really. Why not? Well, you've already bought me one. Well, you buy me one in that case. All right. You're on. Do you get out much since the funeral? Not much. People are very wary of widows. That's a shame. I don't suppose you'd care to go out with me for a meal one evening, if you have time? I'd love to. You would? Well, don't sound so surprised. Well, that's all right, then. It's a day, then. <laughs> Oh, I've not had such a good time in ages. Me and all. But suppose we best get tidied up, eh? Before your flatmates come back. Are you then? Hey? I said, put them down. Come here. Do you fancy me? Yeah. Do you love me? Yeah. Right then. It's your lucky day. Oh, fair. <laughs> Thank you.